if you guys can hear me because of all the wind. But Nicole and I are heading home on the ocean with supplies in the striker. And the scenery just looks like out of a dream. Let me show you. Today we're installing the wood stove. There's a lot of steps in this wood stove installation and we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride, so. This is step one. Are you ready for this? We're not step one, it'd be part one. Part one. Part one. Part one is put stuff on the floor so that the floor in Europe does not catch fire. Yeah. And we're gonna put hardy backer with some block, with some tile. There's a lot that we have to do, so let's get to it. Okay. It just needs to go, yeah. this also needs to go two feet past it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and so I think the hole should go here. Or should the hole go here? There we go. Oh, that's, yeah. It's way too high. I think it needs to go something like that. Like on this row. Anywhere in this row. I think, I honestly think that you are too far over. It should go center, don't you think? Right here? Yeah. I'd rather have it more this way than this way. Okay. So I think right here. And let me push this over. far in front of the floor do we want to put it? Uh, that seems a little too far. Oh, I don't know, actually. Like that, I think. It's going to be good, like right there. Just it came to the floor. Okay, next one. Okay, go for it. And then kind of nestle it in. Put some pressure, like this. And it'll be flat.
Yeah, that's it. Just let it drop, and then dro just drop it. There you go. Now we need to leave enough space for the gap for the uh, for the spacer. So now get your spacer and drop one here and one here. Like that? Yep. You can put one there. All right. You're doing the thin set on that one. Hang on. That was only half a bag too. So I'm picturing rocks like this size for the edge of the base. Yeah. Both of those will work. Yeah. Yeah, see, those will work together. <gasps> Look, it even kind of fits together yeah, already. Yeah, this one like that, see? Aw, magical. <laughs> <clears throat> I say they're all over here, like, I'm already seeing so many over here. All right guys, so we have a pail full of rocks that are all strategically picked so that we have a flat edge on each one. And then we have the bowls of thin set right there. So show us what you're doing here, babe. Just kind of dipping it in thin, thin set. set. On the flat side? On the flat side. Um, and before I'm placing it, I'm, I'm making sure that that looks good. Like that piece like fit perfectly. And then this piece is going to fit perfectly next to that one. This is super cool because it's like free materials and it's all natural and like earth and materials. Yeah, saying. I just, I'm not sure how long I'm going to have to hold it for. I would say like a minute. Did it work? Yeah. And by tomorrow it'll be um, hard as a rock. 
Pun intended? Exactly. Okay. All right, it's late night, it's like 11.30 p.m. and I wanted to get this done before I went to bed so that it's dry and ready to go to the next step tomorrow morning. So I got the floor finished and grouted. Just took the grout right over the top and uh, now when I wake up, it'll be nice and solid and ready to clean and put the wood stove on it. Good morning, everyone. It looks pretty good. We sponge washed it and got it kind of clean and the grout's looking pretty nice. And the tile's been drying now for about 36 to 48 hours. So we're gonna try to put a little ramp on there and wheel the wood stove right up on it. Day three of wood rain stove. <laughs> We thought it would be a one day project for us, but the rain got us and then we were short, some supplies got us. Yeah. So here we are day three. All in good time. Like we're taking our time putting it in. I mean, even though it is cold and it'd be nice to have it, but. Yeah, every night we go to sleep and it's cold. We're like, ah, oh, we should have finished it today. <laughs> well, we had to wait for it to dry, so. Getting in position. I'm gonna put this two by four in here just to kind of like, so it doesn't collapse on us. Okay, so we're gonna push forward on three. One, two, three. Okay, half of it's on. Three. Is it on? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're gonna let it down slow. Crap the tile. No way. Just kidding. That's not even funny. Haha, <laughs> psych! Get slow as can be. Push. <sighs> Give me some. So, what do you think? I think it's nice. <laughs> I think you did a fantastic job. Thanks. Great work. Really hard. We've stocked up and we've got all the pieces that we need to get this chimney in right and to be safe and to be efficient. So the whole goal with this project is to have the wood stove function efficiently and also safely. Okay, those two things, efficiently and safely. We want the heat to come into the yurt, dry things out, keep us warm but we also want to cook on top of it. So we want some good heat on the top for cooking. And we also want to have the yurt be totally safe and all the people in it. So it came with that flame view chimney piece, that chromed out piece right there. You can see it in the black piece. I bought that as an elbow. That's a double wall piece of pipe that's gonna elbow over and shoot the chimney out the wall of the yurt. They might be asking if that pipe, if that chimney gets all hot, What's gonna stop it from burning the wood and the material the yurt is made of and just catching the yurt on fire? Well, it's double wall and insulated. So the chimney pipe that elbows over is double wall. So that means that there's a gap between where the hot part is and where the outside is. And the part that's going to go through the yurt is also insulated. Let me show you what that means. This pipe is gonna carry the chimney from the inside of the yurt to the outside of the yurt. So this is gonna go through the wall. And see all this part? The hot part will be inside here. Then there's a gap and it's like a protective two inch gap that keeps the outside nice and cool to the touch. So the part that touches the yurt will be nice and cool, but the part that 
carries the fire and the heat to the outside will be hot. So insulated pipe. And this guy, the elbow, is also double wall. So see how it also has kind of two layers in there. It has this inside part and this outside part. So that gap allows for the outside part to be cooler. The flame view part that comes up is single wall and that will radiate good heat inside the yurt. And we've got at least two feet of space between the stove, the back of the stove and the wall. We've also got the tile and the block, three layers. We have hardy backer, we have block, then we have tile. So the floor there is super thick and will protect the platform and the laminate floor from getting hot. And there's at least two feet of space in front of the stove so that any sparks that come out of the stove won't catch wood on fire, it'll land on the tile. Just a side note, in case my brother watches my videos, he should be the one here installing this because he was addicted to Legos growing up and this would be right up his alley. And it's been raining here the last five days, so this is gonna be scary because there's a bunch of zombies just waiting outside to get in here, AKA mosquitoes. From here, imagine this inside that elbow and tell me, yeah, see it's all the freight ovens come down. Up a little bit, right, uh, right there. Now this side, up a little bit, stop. Actually, it's like perfect, it's actually perfect. While I cut the hole in the yurt, let's go check out what Nicole's doing. Okay, as you can see, I hung our pots up right here. Jake and I, we weren't for sure how it would look, but now that we have it up there, we like it, but it might not be permanent. Um, just like this kitchen set up here isn't permanent, like eventually we're gonna have actual kitchen counters. But it's nice that we didn't have to alter like or drill anything into the yurt because the holes were already pre-drilled. So it's nice to actually have them up to see what we have uh, for the time being, so. I think it looks okay, so what do you think? I think it looks great, and like you said, it's functional for the time being. Yeah. But it doesn't look like viral on Pinterest. He's like saying Pinteresty. it's not Pinteresty, Pinteresty. and I'm like, I don't think a man should say that. What that means though is that like, I want everything that we have, the kitchen, the loft, yeah. the garden, the wood stove, the yoga qigong area to be Pinteresty. you know what I'm saying? like 10 million people would share on Pinterest. So this looks like it's a step up from where we were. Yeah, just to have them out and yeah. not have boxes. Like I'm really trying to eliminate the boxes, but we really don't have any like shelvings or cupboards or anything like that. So. And I love how the holes were already there. Yeah. We didn't have to permanently alter or drill anything so we can easily just take it down. Yeah. I can't reach, so we're gonna get like a step stool because I'm too short. It's okay, I'll just pick you up to oh. get there. Yay. <laughs>
once again, we've got the elbow. That's double wall. Then I bought this coupler that's gonna allow me to put two pieces together. So the coupler is gonna fit into the elbow. And then this is gonna go into the coupler. Also a perfect fit. And then I'm gonna mark right here and cut with tin snips this part of the chimney. And that will be where it will fit into the insulated pipe and go through the yurt. I also found this cool little plug that we're gonna use later that for now <laughs> is the mosquito blocking plug. No, I'm filming you. Where's my hat? Nice outfit, babe. Thanks. Wow. What, what's wrong with it? You're wearing suspenders. I am not wearing suspenders. All right, I'm wearing suspenders, but. <laughs> you are looking sexy. I think I'm gonna be wearing suspenders from this point on every day of my life. Please don't. Turn around. <laughs> are the pants too high? What's going on? These are chainsaw pants. You gotta wear them because we're gonna be doing a lot of crazy chaotic cuts. And if the chainsaw hits me in here or here, these pants will protect me up to 4,200 RPM. That's why I'm wearing these pants. Wow. Let's go outside and get started. Okay. Cole thinks I'm so funny right now for some reason, and I just don't understand why what I'm doing or what I'm wearing should be so funny. Well, I'm glad I can amuse her. on the it, it will tear the liner so just that yeah right there perfect don't move
Hey, how do these posts look? Oh, they look very nice. <laughs> like twin towers? Uh, yeah. And do I uh, look like a floating head? Well, obviously not because. Like the Wizard of Oz. Who rings on my door? Oh, yeah. Remember? The, the gatekeeper. Okay. I'm sorry you're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. Can you hold something? Yeah, I can push against this. Like work it in. Is that, is that in? The screw? Yeah. Okay. Good job. She's back in it. She's still taking the lead. Look at her technique. Nicole, for team one, taking the lead. Ah. Oh, I she bobbled. Ah. Team Blackfish, the Jake is gaining behind. Me out. Will he have enough time to get there? Blackfish is gaining. She's gonna lose it down the ravine. Give me yours. <laughs> but Jeff Propes was getting me for the win. 
Jake relinquishes his lead to flirt with the pretty girl. <laughs> this could hurt his competition. An amazing recovery, he's still gaining. This one's all wonky. What do you think? Does that look stable? Yeah. Are you even ready for this? I think. Wait, wait, keep hold of it. I don't have it yet. Okay, I don't have it. fire is raging now and it's starting to get warmer here in the yurt and what I'm really excited about is that this is actually a stove cooktop that has room for at least four or five pots so we're cooking up some tea here we're gonna boil some water for noodles and this is a nice yummy eggplant dish that I've got going on we'll show you guys the finished product here coming up but all cooking without electricity and without propane with the wood that was outside. Just made some red puar tea. Jake has been running back and forth like I feel so bad for him. So our good neighbor Julian came up and said that they're giving away a bunch of firewood, um, big like big massive stumps. He didn't want them, no one else wanted them, so Julian asked us if we did, and of course, because we don't really have a firewood pile, I mean we have a little bit of firewood, um, but we're so busy with other things that we're not really like that in the back of our brains. So to have all of this firewood, and I mean there's so much, we still have to like chop all of it into little pieces and pile it up and stuff, but to have it is so, so so nice like this will last us all winter and set us up for success for next year like I'm so grateful but Jake <laughs> I feel bad for him because he's having to like lift him up and put them in the truck
the neighbors just said this tree fell six months ago and they are already like three years ahead with wood so they don't know what to do with it so it was just taking up space and um, it would do them a favor if we cleared it it would do us a favor to have all this wood which is like for us is easily over a year or two of wood this is a lot for a couple who's you know just getting started yeah like this is was our driveway our old driveway i'll be just cutting them into nice firewood pieces as we need it and store them all underneath the carport cool. um i had a friend out here tell me that it's actually good to leave the wood in the sun because the pores of the wood can get primed with sun energy and become more explosive and hotter and when you burn them but we're at least going to keep them out of the rain under the easy belt structure carport yeah This needs to be like Now this eggplant dish is sizzling on top of the wood stove. I've just, something that's gonna give Nicole and I free heat forever, that we're also gonna cook on top of. We don't need any electricity. We don't need to pay the power bill. We don't need propane. Right here, this is amazing. What do you think of the dynamic of our yurt now? I think it's changed completely. Yeah. How does it how does it feel like on your skin now? Warm. <laughs> yeah. Warm and cozy and and then like the color of the yurt is soft. It's like soft, warm, cozy. Uh -huh. It's very nice. It's it just makes me think of my childhood and I know it makes you think of your childhood. And we're gonna enjoy our food. Just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and please hit that like button if you like this video. Really, those of you who have joined our Patreon page have become part of our inner circle, our trusted friends, our patrons, and you guys help to fund our videos. But those of you who just watch here on YouTube, it's totally free for you to watch. So the least that you can do, in my opinion, is please interact. Leave a nice comment down below, maybe a question. Hit the like button, subscribe, but you also have to hit the bell button and turn on the notifications because there's no longer any like subscription feed or column. There is, but it's very hard to find. Yeah. And for independent creators like Nicole and I, it's very hard to get on the trending page. It's very hard to get the videos to pop up ahead of all the, the big networks and the big money. We edit all these videos ourselves. 
and produce them with our own money and our own time and effort. So the least you guys can do, in my opinion, is please hit the bell button and interact with us in the comments. And if you want to go a step further and become part of our family and inner circle, you can go over to our Patreon page and join. No matter what tier you want to join for, it's right there. The link's down below. I think it's patreon.com slash Jake Nicole. Yep. All right. Let's see. This looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it really does. <laughs>